There have been a lot of crazy claims surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine, and the latest is called the COVID vaccine magnet challenge. Some people online are claiming that magnets stick to their arm after they've gotten the shot. Well, that has been quickly debunked. That's insane. Could your COVID vaccine really turn you into a human magnet? Look at that. Stuck. It's the social media craze going viral today. Claims that magnets will stick to the spot on your arm where you were injected with the vaccine. They say it proves that the vaccine contains a tiny microchip. Holy it's legit. You got chipped. This guy claims a magnet sticks to the arm where he got the vaccine, but falls off his other arm. There's a video going around right now. Have you seen it? The videos caught the attention of Gail King. Today, she asked CDC Director Rochelle Walensky to debunk the wacky conspiracy theory. Can you just put that to rest and say how ridiculous it is? We are not being injected with chips. What we're being injected with is this incredible scientific breakthrough that keeps us safe. Yale professor Dr. Stephen Novella says there's a simple explanation to why the magnets stick. It's just the tackiness of the skin if it gets a little bit moist and the angle that it's clinging to the skin. Meanwhile, Dr. Fauci is coming under attack today by Fox News after thousands of his emails from the early days of the pandemic were released. These emails reveal, right, it shows that Fauci was cognizant of a possible lag leap. They show that from the beginning, Tony Fauci was worried that the public might conclude COVID had originated at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Could there be criminal culpability a here? A, a fraud or ongoing uh, collaboration with the Chinese? Fauci defended himself today. There are some of your critics who say this shows you have too cozy of a relationship with the people behind the Wuhan lab research. What do you say to that? Oh, that's nonsense. I don't even see how they get that from that email. I have always said, and will say today to you, John, that I still believe the most likely uh, origin is from an animal species to a human, but I keep an absolutely open mind that if there may be other origins of that, there may be another reason. It could have been a lab leak. 